Once we have a card design completed, the next step is to add the card fields to the production form. From the Tools menu, select Add Card Fields to Production Form. A window will appear showing the card fields. Click the Select All button to highlight all the card fields and then click the OK button. A message will appear asking to add the production form fields to the database. For this example, click No to continue. Reposition the text fields and the photo field on the production form. Right mouse click in an unpopulated area of the production form and select Insert Static Text Field from the menu. Position the static text field at the top center of the form. Reposition the text fields and the photo field on the production form. Double click on the static text field to bring up the Edit Field Properties window. Modify the display text data and click the Apply button. Click on the Appearance tab and then click on the Font button. Select Arial, Bold, and 18 and click on the OK button. Click on the General tab and set the alignment to center. Click on the Appearance tab again and then click on the Foreground button. Select a background color and click OK to continue. Click the OK button to close the Edit Field Properties window. Resize the static text field so the title is visible. Double click on an unpopulated area of the production form and click on the color check box of the form properties. Click the color button and choose a background color. Select the OK button to close the background color window. Click the apply button to make the color active and then click on the OK button to close the properties window. Double click on the first name text field and then select the operator prompt tab. Modify the prompt tab so that the first letters are capitalized. Note 1 may choose the position of the operator text. Leave the position at the left top and click OK to continue. Double click on the last name text field and then select the operator prompt tab. Modify the prompt text so that the first letters are capitalized. Click the OK button to continue. Double click on the department text field and then select the operator's prompt tab. Modify the prompt text so that the first letter is capitalized. Double click on the barcode text field and then select the operator prompt tab. Change the prompt text to employee ID. Click the OK button to continue. Once the form design is complete, the next step is to add the form fields to the database. From the Tools menu, select the Add Production Form Fields to Database. Click on the Select All button to highlight all the form fields and click the OK button. Double click on the Photo field and select the Source tab. Choose Video for Windows Fast as the default photo source. Click on the Operator tab and change the prompt text to Photo Capture. Click the OK button to close the Properties window. Now it's time to connect the form fields to the database and the card design. From the View menu, select the Field Connector option. Note that the form fields are already connected to the database fields and the card design fields. These fields are connected because we use the menu options to automatically add the fields to the production form and database. Even though the fields are connected with the Field Connector, it's still possible to go back and rename field names. The modified field names will then be reflected in the Field Connector window. One may manually connect and disconnect database fields using their respective buttons. If the form field does not match the database field length, a warning is displayed asking the user if it's OK to truncate the form field. Click on the Yes button to accept the modification. One may also manually connect and disconnect card design fields in a similar manner. Once the desired form fields have been connected to the database fields and the card design fields, you may close the field connector. From the Edit menu, select the Field Tab Order option. One may modify the tab order by left mouse clicking on the form fields in the desired tab order. To save the project, click on the Save icon or select the Save Project option under the File menu. Once the project is complete and saved, the next step is to test out the project with the ID CardMaker Process software.